Hey guys, I think that's what I'm supposed. What's up, guys? I think that's what I'm supposed to say when I talk to you like this in a YouTube video. It's me, Dan. I just wanted to give you a little context for what you're about to watch. I haven't been making videos in a while, almost a year, and stuff is starting to upload to the channel. Every Monday, I'm live streaming. If you're not subscribed or clicking the bell or whatever the things you're supposed to do to get notifications, please go ahead. Weirdly, if you'll see this, everybody unsubscribes to my channel when I live stream. I think that's because I have over a decade of subscribers built up and a lot of people are like, I don't code in P5.js anymore, like please go away, which is totally fine. Anyway, those live streams are often hours long. They're kind of messy, not necessarily for everyone, but what I'm doing is cutting out different sections of what I do during the live streams as individual tutorials or coding challenge videos. This is a little experiment where I just spent some time during my most recent stream talking about the things that I'm planning for the future of the coding train. So I thought I'd put that in a separate video so you could watch it and comment below to give me feedback and ideas about what you'd like to see me do. Especially if you are a teacher who who teaches beginners with P5. This is something I'm really looking to refresh with P5 too, and I'd love to hear what is the most useful for you. So I don't know, watch this video and let me know. Let's make a little list here. What's coming out edited video wise? The P5 2 async and await video is coming out. There is also another async await video. So those are in the pipeline. We've got intro to, and I'm just gonna write tf.js. These days, I think if you hear me or see the label tf.js, I am almost definitely referring to transformers.js. Maybe there's a better abbreviation. This is a very confusing abbreviation because there also is a library called TensorFlow.js, which could be abbreviated with TF and also happens to be a machine learning library. So there's that, and then there is the LLM video, and then the Bayesian text classification. So stay tuned for that. I would like to kind of tell you a bit about my thinking about the topics I'm hoping to do. I, I was gonna say in the next couple weeks, but really I'm kind of talking about this semester. My current kind of plan for the coding train is to treat it as something very seasonal. So we're gonna do a fall semester, we're gonna do a spring semester. You know, there's probably gonna be like a winter break. <laughs> So I think one thing that I discovered is it, uh, I think in doing this is it's much better for me to commit to some time and then, and, and then have planned times where I'm not streaming or recording than just kind of like always feel like I should be doing it and trying to fit it in and squeeze it in. So right now, every Monday, uh, there will be some Mondays that I miss, maybe Thanksgiving week, I don't know. I'm sure I'll, I was sick actually the week that I did the Bayesian text classification, which maybe is my excuse, one of my excuses for why that didn't go very well. Um, all right, so but let's talk. Let's talk this through. So um, there's a couple different. There's a couple categories here. Here are my categories: P52, P5 beginner, and then what I would say is ML. And again, I'm, I'm allergic to the letters AI, <laughs> even though that's kind of what I mean. But I, I want to really focus on it uh, being machine learning. So these are kind of what I'm thinking right now. P52, we've covered async and await. That's done. Probably should cover variable fonts and font uh, outline. I don't know what to call this. The outline of the font, the sort of like vertices of the letter form, font geometry maybe I would say. I want to cover custom shapes changes, in particular splines. So that's my list of P52. P5 beginner. I'm just gonna make the list. Basics, variation, conditionals, loops, arrays, functions, objects. This is my new kind of order. Because there's a new P52, I want to redo all of my beginner tutorials. However, if I were to mark some of them, maybe with a highlighter, let's try this highlighter. I haven't tried this before. And actually let's go over to the computer for a second because this will help us. So if I go to the Coding Train website and I go to uh, tracks and go to here, this is what I'm talking about, which is redoing this series. But if you look at it, you know, this needs a refresh because the web editor has changed a bit, but it's really fine. This kind of is mostly fine. It's using the web editor. Fine, fine, random map. Oh, ancient, 
ancient video. See, here we go, the map video. Although, to be honest, like, what's the point of redoing that? The concept and of map and everything about it has not changed. So it's not too high. I don't know why create graphics in here, but I always feel like it comes up. So I made this extra video and put it in here. But let's look here. Aha, here we go. I really feel like these should be redone. They're the oldest. Conditionals, I know loops, and I know arrays and functions. So these are the ones that are the most old because I redid objects whenever I decided, oh, ES6 classes is a thing. And then I redid the basics and variation a number of years ago. I do like, I, I teach arrays and functions quite differently now. And I think the video on functions uses like an object literal and it's kind of confusing. It doesn't follow this trajectory really well. If I could somehow have just like a few days free, I could just like run through all of it just in like two days streaming and then cut them up. Or I could just take the approach of like slowly over time out of order, let me redo a bunch of these topics. What I also have a little bit of a mental block on is I would like to do a new intro which covers history and then kind of talks about like why maybe you still want to learn with AI. So I really want to make that video. I actually wrote a script for it <laughs> just as an exercise. I mean, it's, it's a total mess. I couldn't just do it right now. Maybe it's worth talking through some of the ideas there and like in a live stream and kind of, but that's kind of, that's my plan. Now, under the ML topic, mostly, you know, I want to continue with TFJS, meaning Transformers JS. I would love to cover depth estimation, image segmentation, just making a list of things on my mind. Uh, I want to look at uh, how you might do speech to text and text to speech. I can't decide if those should be like separate tutorials, one longer like coding challenge video where we just make a, hey, conversational chatbot. But let me just write these out. Text to speech, speech to text, so those are things I want to cover. I also, this is a little bit separate, I wanted to cover softmax, sampling, and temperature. This one I actually did during my latest live stream, which you could watch the archive, but more importantly, it should actually end up in the edited column because it will be coming out soon that way. And I think this is mostly, I mean, I could keep going here. Object detection is one, image captioning. There's just so many things, oh my goodness. 100% this semester, I totally forgot. Embeddings. And this is something I could actually do and like similarity, sentence similarity, all sorts of um, kind of stuff there. So I think this is my map of what I'm looking to do this fall. So let me know what you think of my plan. What's missing from my list that you would really like to see from the coding train? Please let me know in the comments, pop by and say hello in a future live stream, or also there's the coding train discord that you can sign up for and say hello and give your feedback there as well. Goodbye.